Good morning. And welcome to St. John the Baptist Cathedral, Basilica Parish. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. We ask that all during the ongoing pandemic continue to use hand sanitizers and maintain a distance of two meters. The wearing of masks is strongly encouraged. Our presider this morning is Father John Costello, and our entrance chant is, Lord, you search me and you know me, number 474 in the Catholic Book of Worship. Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. Welcome. To prepare ourselves now to enter worthily into the sacred mystery, we pause for a moment, asking God for pardon and peace for our own sins. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my in thoughts, thoughts and in my words, words in what I have done, what I have, done, and what what I have failed, failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through, through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, of a virgin, all the angels and saints, saints, and you, and my, my brothers and sisters, and sisters to pray for me to the Lord our God. God. And may Almighty God have mercy upon us and forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who delight in innocence and restore it, direct the hearts of your servants to yourself, that caught up in the fire of your spirit, we may be found steadfast in faith and effective in works. And we ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> a reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, Cursed are those who trust in mere mortals and make mere flesh their strength, whose hearts turn away from the Lord. They shall be like a shrub in the desert and shall not see when relief comes. They shall live in the parched places of the wilderness in an uninhabited salt land. Blessed are those who trust in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. They shall be like a tree planted by water, sending out its roots by the stream. It shall not fear when heat comes, and its leaves shall stay green. 
In the year of drought, it is not anxious, and it does not cease to bear fruit. The heart is devious above all else. It is perverse. Who can understand it? I, the Lord, test the mind and search the heart to give to all according to their ways, according to the fruit of their doings. The word of the Lord. The response to our psalm, blessed the one who trusts in the Lord. Blessed the one who trusts in the Lord. Blessed the one who trusts in the Lord. Bless the man who does not follow the advice of the wicked, or take the path that sinners thread, or sit in the seat of scoffers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law meditates day and night. Blessed the one who trusts in the Lord. He is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in its season, and its leaves do not wither, and everything he does prospers. Blessed the one who trusts in the Lord. The wicked are not so, but are like chief that the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Blessed the one who trusts in the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, King of eternal glory. Praise to you, Lord, King of eternal glory. God loved the world so much, he gave us his only Son, that all who believe in him might have eternal life. Praise to you, The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told this parable to those among the Pharisees who loved money. There was a rich man who was dressed in purple and fine linen and who feasted sumptuously every day. And at his gate lay a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, who longed to satisfy his hunger with what fell from the rich man's table. Even the dogs would come and lick his sores. The poor man died and was carried away by the angels to be with Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried. In Hades, where he was being tormented, he looked up and saw Abraham far away with Lazarus by his side. And he called out, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water to cool my tongue, for I am in agony 
in these flames. But Abraham said, Child, remember that during your lifetime you received your good things, and Lazarus in like manner evil things, and now he has been comforted here, and you are in agony. Besides all this, between you and us, a great chasm has been fixed, so that those who might want to pass from here to you cannot do so, and no one can cross from there to us. The man who had been rich said, Then, Father, I beg you to send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, that he may warn them, so that they will not come into this place of torment. And Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. They should listen to them. And he said, No, Father Abraham, but if someone goes to them from the dead, they will repent. Abraham said to him, If they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be convinced, even if someone rises from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. The lessons for today remind us that trust, hope, generosity, and perseverance are the essential practices of the blessed. So, in reflecting more on what it means to be blessed, there was this person who received new insights from a book by a rural Mennonite pastor in Kansas, in God's country, Brad Roth, says that the word blessing derives from the Latin verb bene decre, which is translated to mean speak the good. Roth says that blessing is not only seeing the good and speaking good into something, the act of blessing is also transformative. It is God's blessing that forms and sustains us into being and also brings out the best in us and in those we bless. And blessings, we know, are how God makes things happen. So when we read, blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose hope is in the Lord, we can envision a person who is not only good, but who is sustained in goodness and who can make good happen. When we read, blessed are they who hope in the Lord, we find that the Lord not only watches over those who follow the Lord to sustain them, but whatever they do prospers. They are set up to make even more good happen. And when we read, blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance, we get closer to the gospel message for today. So my dear people, what are we to do with our blessings in this life? It is not enough to say that we can be confident in the hope that God blesses us like the Pharisees. We're invited to receive God's blessings with a generous heart and sharing with those in need like Lazarus. And in blessing us, God brings out the best in us, which enables us to be a blessing to others in this life, especially during this Lenten season. We are blessed to make good happen where it is needed, and is needed very much in today's world, as we know. So I wonder if that message is coming through clearly enough on all those commercial products these days that says, you know, blessed. Are people just thinking they are fortunate to be seen as good? and to experience the good in life? Or are they open to being transformed into something perhaps even better? And when many of us say we are blessed, are we just expressing gratitude for God's goodness in our lives? Or are we announcing a readiness and a willingness to bless others, our family, our friends, those around us, strangers, by making still more good happen in the world? 
So perhaps this day, and uh, a good reflection for this day, it is my prayer, and I'm sure it is your prayer as well, that we will be blessed and also to be a blessing to those we encounter this day. We present our petitions now to our blessed Lord. We pray especially for the sick, especially uh, Sylvia Han and Sheila Hennessy. Also, we remember those people that this Mass has been offered up for, Bernice Call and deceased family members, Matthew Prim, deceased members of the Dominic family. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and for our Archbishop Peter and the pastor, that they may continue to have the courage and strength of the Holy Spirit to shepherd the church in these challenging times, we pray to the Lord. For all our parishes in the Archdiocese during the season of Lent, as they strive to build welcoming communities of faith and hope, as they bring the gospel of Jesus to those who have not heard it, we pray to the Lord. For peace in our world, especially in Ukraine, and other war-torn countries who have not known peace for a long time, we pray to the Lord. And we pray for an increase in vocations so people will answer the call of Jesus to come follow me, we pray to the Lord. And for all the peoples of the earth, our common home, that they may join in caring for our creation and share resources they draw from it in a just and equal manner, we pray to the Lord. And let's take a moment now to offer up our own intentions to the Lord, praying that God will hear and answer all the prayers in our own hearts and those who requested our prayers. And for these we pray to the Lord. God, the Heavenly Father, you are kind and good and compassionate to all of us. We ask you to hear and answer these prayers we have made known in your name through your one Lord who lives forever and ever. Amen. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. And by the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the divine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. The humble spirit and conjured heart may be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice and sight this day be pleasing to you, O Lord. The Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. 
for our good and for the good of all his holy church. By this present sacrifice, we pray, O Lord, sanctify our observance, that what Lenten discipline outwardly declares, it may inwardly bring about through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, and always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, and make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins, and do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection especially those who remember this Mass, those who have died near and dear to us, those who will die this day, those who have no one to pray for them. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, St. Saint John the Baptist, St. Anne, St. Bernadette, Trees of Avila, Trees of Lazo, Trees of Calcutta, Gabriel, Raphael, Michael, all who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. 
At the Savior's command, informed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer each other some sign of peace. Peace be with you, everyone. On you stay, quitolis peccata mundi, miserere no. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. For the reception of Holy Communion, we ask that people from the side sections come to receive Holy Communion first, that you maintain a two meter distance in the communion line and please sanitize your hands before receiving Holy Communion. If you do not wish to receive Holy Communion, you are welcome to come forward for a blessing. Our communion hymn is Bread for the World, 6.1 in Celebrate in Song. Jesus Christ, you are the bread of life. 
broken to heal and heal the wounds of human pain. Where we divide your people, you are waiting there on bended knee to wash our feet with endless care. Bread for the world, a world of Wine for all peoples, people who thirst. May we who eat be bread for others. May we who drink pour out our love. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the wine of peace, poured into hearts once and where dryness sleeps, where we are tired and weary, you are waiting there to be the way which beckons us beyond despair. Bread for the world, a world of hunger, wine for all peoples, people who May we who eat be bread for others. May we who drink pour out our love. Lord Jesus Christ, you call us to your feast, at which the rich and powerful have come the least, where we survive. In our human greed, you walk among us, begging for your every need. Bread for the world, a world of hunger, wine for all peoples, people who thirst. May we who Let us pray. May this sacrifice, O God, remain active in its effects and work ever more strongly within us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The holy sacrifice of the Mass is ended. Let us go forth to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. Have a joyful and peaceful day and a safe one, everyone. Thank you, Father. God bless you. Our recessional hymn is I Know That My Redeemer Lives, number 647 in the Catholic Book of Worship. I know that 
that my Redeemer lives, and on that final day of days, his voice shall bid me rise again, unending joy, unceasing praise. This hope I cherish.